Welcome back, guys, to Craig Reacts. And we're back on Deep Purple Made in Japan. Josh is as a record. Still on, still on the first vinyl. We're on side two, the mule. So this week's track is the mule. Now we're doing it. We're not doing it directly from the album. Only because this video popped up when I searched, and it said the best drum solo ever. Live in Copenhagen, nineteen seventy-two. So I mean we're in and around the exact same time of the album. We probably turn the album or touring. Seventeenth of August, nineteen seventy-two was the album. Well, the, the live recording. So, I just thought I'd do this because I mean we're, we're all about live versions on this channel, and it's from the album. Before we move on to side three, here we go, guys. Deep Purple, The Mule. Now let me know if you think this is the, the best drum solo ever. It's a bit of a long one. We're nine minutes. Something called The Mule. Here we go. Holy shit, straight away, the drumming. There's Blackmore. Straight away. Look at him dancing about. Always a performer. Shit. Whoa. I mean, we're not only just on the tracks only just started.
Jesus. Holy moly. The fucking corkies go? <laughs> the fucking sweat. Jeepers.
Jesus. That's not a reverse of war. That wasn't... I was like, yeah, give me 10 minutes. <laughs> like Very good. I mean, that was a... That was a small snippet of the mule, and then just a 10 minute solo from him. <laughs> Holy fuck, that was good. Very good. Like that now. I've seen a few videos pop up from this concert. There's Denmark, Copenhagen. So there may be more of that to come in the recent. Uh, uh, can't speak. More of that to come in the f coming weeks as we finish out this album. But there being one, two, three more tracks. Three more tracks to come to finish out the Made in Japan album. I know I'm not exactly sticking to the actual album with tracks and performances like this, but I mean, it stuck out. Best drum solo ever. Yeah, it's up there. Very good. Deep Purple fans, thanks again for liking, subscribing, ringing the bell, leaving your comments. Um, some people asking, because this is, this is from my dad's collection, but that's the life. But I just kind of inherited the, the collection. I've got a lot to go through. It's a decent nick for being a 40 or over 40 year old album. Look at, look at that sexiness. That, you, you just don't get albums like it anymore. Covers like it. So yeah, a few people asking, no, he's still with us. This collection was kind of gathering dust, and with me doing this channel, I asked if I could ha have it or borrow it. It's not mine, I'm borrowing it. To go through, and I've discovered some serious gems, some stuff I've never heard of. But this is just all part of the process. We're going through it. Hearing his, the music he was into and influenced by and stuff, which then has led to what I like, what I'm inf influenced by. So there we go. Three more tracks to go, guys. They will be coming in the next few weeks. Thanks for watching. Keep liking, keep subscribing, keep ringing the bell. And I'll see you in the next one.